Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to be doing gaming on my Acer Edge 6510BD. It's quite an old projector. It's a full HD projector. It's not a 4K projector, but I've actually moved away from my 4K television setup and I just wanted to try out gaming on this full HD projector and uh, share that experience with you lovely folks. So I'm just going to be testing out a few games on this projector, which is a full HD projector. We're going to take a look at the capability of this projector as well. Uh, so we're going to dive into the settings. We're going to see what this projector is actually capable of achieving. And uh, we're going to check out how this performs and is gaming on a screen this big actually a good experience or it's not. So we're going to find all that out. Kindly stick around till the end of the video. And um, I'd appreciate if you comment on um, you know what you feel about this particular projector and what you feel about a setup like this where you get to game on such a big screen. <laughs> so let's get started folks. Now the first thing that I wanted to test was what are the kind of settings that are actually available with a projector which is like a full HD projector. Now this is quite an old projector because this has been around with me for almost three to four years now. So it's quite old. It's not the latest and the greatest tech but um, I just thought I'll show you this kind of a setup as well. So when it comes to the general TV and display options, well, there aren't many that you can actually choose from because, hey, there's only 1080p and 720p. You don't see all those extra options that you would see on a modern or a latest television. Like in my previous videos, you could see that there was a 4K option available here. There was also an option to change my refresh rate. That is, I could choose between 60 to 120 hertz. Well, that's not here. It's just not there. And uh, if I go into, you know, what my television is, sorry, in this case, a projector, it still says television because it's connected through an HDMI. So my Xbox thinks that it's a TV, but it's not. It's actually a projector. Now, my TV does not set up. I mean, it's not set up for 4K UHD at 60 hertz. It will not support 120 hertz. So basically, everything is in the red here. But still, even, you know, though you've got so many reds out here, let's actually take a look at what games feel like on a screen this big. So we're going to jump into a few games and try out a few games. And um, let's see, you know, how this actually performs. The first game that I wanted to try out, my all-time favorite. This is a game that I've been playing for years. In fact, decades now. Uh, comfortably over two decades. So uh, this is your Mortal Kombat 11. And uh, I just wanted to see how this performs. So let's quickly open this game up. And uh, so far so good. Let's get into a fight. Local. Well, alrighty. As always, Liu Kang is my favorite character. And let's see how this guy performs opponent type CPU and let's see him fight against his buddy Kung Lao alrighty difficulty let's go with medium all right let's have some fun let's go with medium setup and let's see how this performs well I've always spoken about you know Xbox Series S and its load times. As soon as I select a uh, a level, it's it's really snappy. I mean, it's fabulous. In fact, let me choose a level which uh, I haven't chosen before. So let's go with this one: Special Forces Desert Command. All right, and we jump right into the game. Hardly any load times. Wow, that was fast. Oh, this looks absolutely mind-blowing <laughs> it's incredible well I'm not sure if the camera is actually doing justice to it but personally let me tell you you know it looks mind-bogglingly good I don't know if that's even a word mind-bogglingly good <laughs> it's so good that I'm actually making my own words wow. Oh, the medium difficulty is not that difficult. Now, please note that, you know, the camera might not be able to pick it up 
the way it's looking on screen on screen this looks mind blowing again what this is so good Wow, amazing. Now every single detail can actually be seen. Wow. I think it would depend on, um, you know, I mean, the various game titles as well as to, you know, how good this can be. Oh, I missed my fatal blow. Oh. Oh no. Ah, oh, he got me. He got me, folks. <laughs> Oh, that is brutal. Oh, that is brutal. Ah, oh, Kung Lao. Come on, you can't do that to your buddy. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, I always say this, you know, the clickiness in the buttons. Xbox, man, it's noisy. Come on. Ah, oh, take that, Kung Lao. And take that. Ah, that was good. Just escaped in time. I've not been able to land a single combo. What's happening? Whoa. Ah, not a single combo. This is... Oh no! Whoa! Look at that! Got him. I'm not gonna do a fatality. Oh, I'm just gonna move over to some other game. But this was fun guys. I mean, this looks incredible on screen. I mean, personally, it looks fantastic. And uh, I'm not so sure what kind of justice will the camera be able to do because in one of my previous videos, you know, I actually uh, gave my personal opinion as to, you know, what I felt about gaming on a Samsung AU9070 versus a Nokia television, which was far, far cheaper. And um, on the camera, the Nokia, you know, in many places looked better. But let me tell you that, you know, personally to me, not on camera, personally, <laughs> through my naked eyes, you could say. Uh, the Samsung did look better. I mean, the motion w was definitely better. The colors, they were popping. So, personally, up front, it looked much, much better. Uh, but let's just quickly take a look at uh, one other game or maybe a couple of other games and uh, we'll see how it performs. I absolutely love this setup. This is incredible, guys. I've now jumped into Forza Horizon and let's take a look at this beauty as well. Oh, man, this is... So pretty. Whoa. I mean, this looks <laughs> incredibly good. I can't believe how good this looks on this projector. I mean, hey, I've, I've, I've played this on a 4K television as well. And not a, you could say a low-end 4K television. The Samsung AU9070. It's the top of the line in the AU series. And... Um, it's a mid-budget television, you could say. But this takes the game to a whole new level. Whoa! Look at that. Look at... Well, look at that. Ain't she a beauty? Whoopsie. I'm just gonna keep driving, keep driving. Whoa! Oh, oh man. This is... I'm enjoying so much, guys. I just... I just wish you could see this <laughs> personally. Wow. Back on the road. Well, I don't think I'm doing such a great job, but I'm just uh, testing this game out so that you get a feel of, you know, what it actually is like. And, um, you know, everything looks sharp. Um, I can't believe that this is actually a 1080p um, projector and it's, it's doing such a fabulous job. In fact, personally, I think, you know, I mean, this looks much, much better than my 4K television. 
Oh, bad one. Bad hit. I mean, the objects in the distance, they look fabulous. They look fantastic. I mean, given the choice, would I want to play on a screen this big? And uh, even if it's a 1080p projector, I'd probably choose this because this experience is absolutely incredible. I mean, you get to play on such a big screen and despite the fact that it's such a big screen, the objects, they, they, they don't have any blurriness, you could say, to them. Uh, the, the trees in the distance, the mountains that are quite far off in the distance, I think it is doing a fabulous job. In fact, everything is sharp. It's neat. Um, if And right now, you could say I'm at a distance of, say, about 12 feet away from the projector. And um, that's not very far, <laughs> given how big the screen is. It's, it's definitely over 100 inch. And uh, to play from a distance of 12 feet is, I would say, you know, quite close. Even if I go, for, say, about... 20 feet away oh this looks even better right now i'm at a distance of 20 feet away from the screen and uh, whoa this is incredible i mean whoa whoa guys at 20 feet oh this looks so good whoa nothing's gonna stop us now <laughs> I love that track, by the way. All right. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, Forza is a pure delight, you could say. It's an absolute joy to uh, play on a screen this big. And uh, there is no lag. There is no delay. Um, everything looks sharp. No tearing, no ghosting. Nothing. I mean, it's an out-and-out, -out, smooth, mind-bending experience to be gaming on over a hundred inches of screen estate with your Xbox Series S. I mean, this is a killer setup, guys. I mean, when I say a killer setup, I really mean it. Especially, you know, for games like this, for Forza. Even Tomb Raider, you know, that we saw a few minutes back, it looked incredible. It, it was absolutely mind-blowing. Let's just stop here and try to play some other game, shall we? All right, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm just re-recording this. I recorded this footage, you know, but somehow, you know, I mean, I forgot to reduce the brightness levels on my camera. So I'm just doing this again. And uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Whoa. This particular scene. Every single thing that I see on the screen looks absolutely fabulous. Now, this is definitely running at a 60 FPS. I can say because I'm playing it right in front of it. Uh, that's what, you know, my naked eyes can actually pick up. But uh, on the camera, you may not be able to make that out simply because of the fact that I'm recording this in 4K 24 frames per second and not 60 FPS. This video, because I was recording in a dark room, so I wanted to record in a flat profile. So therefore, I'm actually recording on my DJI Pocket 2 and uh, this is getting recorded in 4K 24 FPS in that flat profile, which is decent like So, um, yeah, I mean, everything looks fantastic i mean i'm sure you can say that the colors look incredible and again you know i've played this game on my nokia television as well i kind of i wouldn't exactly say you know backlash but you know there were a few people telling me that the picture quality on the nokia looks fantastic but here's the thing you know i'm playing on this projector which is quite old but this projector is very similar in terms of color reproduction to what the Samsung was producing because I can clearly make out a difference you know in the greens the browns the uh, orange there with the fire the red uh, but the picture quality on the Nokia was uh, very flat and a, the Nokia is an HDR television whereas this particular projector it's not even an HDR projector it's uh, just a 1080p projector so um, despite of that you know I can say that the color reproduction on this is very similar to what I was getting on the Samsung AU9070. Now, often what you see on the camera might not be the true, true reflection of you know how it actually looks in person. So I'm just mentioning that on the camera as well. I'm, I'm commenting on it because uh, to me in person, this looks incredible. I mean, take a look at you know that 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 
you could say that glow around that fire and uh, now all these you know different color options that I have whoa this is mind-blowing whoa this is a pretty game there's no doubt about it and it looks absolutely incredible when you play it from a distance of around 16 to 17 feet in fact if I step a little farther away and now I'm at a distance of almost 20 you could say 20 feet yeah more than 20 actually I'm at a distance of around 22 feet and uh, whoa I mean it looks so good guys I mean it's it's a whole new level in fact it's gonna be very difficult for me to get back to my Samsung AU9070 a 43 inch television after experiencing it on a screen this big this takes your game to a whole new level and uh, I gotta find a knife so that I can actually cut that is this it Now where on earth is that tool? I've played this game, I've in fact completed this game, but I've completely forgotten about what to do. And look at look at the look at the water. I mean, whoa this looks good. <laughs> I just wanna keep swimming. Swim Lara swim. Oh man, this looks so pretty. It is so beautiful. And again, you know, I'm going to find it really difficult to get back to my Samsung 43 inch television. But hey, you know, at least I have this at home. You know, I can play on this anytime I want. And um, if, if you've got a 4K HDR projector with 120 hertz, man, I'm jealous. <laughs> because this projector, it's only 1080p. And despite of the fact that it's only 1080p, it's producing such a great image quality on screen and uh, everything looks incredibly sharp the colors are vibrant they are really good oh this is good guys what's that runaway animal Whoa. let me know which game you think you know is i mean all the games that i've tried out in this particular video let me know which one do you think you know looked the best now i know you know i've played forza as well in forza i, I forgot to reduce the brightness level of my camera uh, i in fact had reduced in fact i forgot to reduce it in uh, tomb raider as well that's why i came back and i this is kind of a replay that i'm doing And where is that tool? I've completely forgotten about this game. So I'm not going to progress any further. You know, we're going to stop this game here. But so far it's been, it's, it's been <laughs> a great experience, guys. I mean, I can't stress on the fact that, uh, I mean, I can't stress on it enough that uh, how beautiful this game looks. Whoa, look at that reflection on the water. My goodness. And all this on a $300 console. Wow. The Xbox Series S, it never fails to surprise you. <laughs> and if you've got different, ob I mean, different... Uh, you could say uh, monitors or projectors or television lying around at home, then uh, you actually get to see you know, how this little beast of a machine, the Xbox Series S, performs under these different circumstances and with these different devices.
Oh, beautiful. Even that light, you know, I mean, I don't know if you can see, there's absolute darkness uh, on one side. Not absolute darkness, I mean, it's not pitch black, but there's a lot of uh, darkness in one area of the screen. And uh, despite of the fact that it's not an HDR projector, it's doing a, a brilliant job. I mean, can't complain at all. Whoa. Well, there's one thing that I forgot to mention, <laughs> and that might have been a very important point. Now, if you think, you know, why is the screen looking so hazy? Now, this projector, the Acer H6510 BD, it is also a 3D projector. So, I can actually convert 2D content to 3D. So, if I wanted to do that, well, I, I, all I had to do was just press a button and it converts it. But let me just turn it off and show you how it looks without that 3D. So, as soon as you change the content from 2D to 3D, of course, you know, it's going to be blurry because you need active 3D glasses. Now, please note, I mentioned active 3D glasses and not passive 3D glasses. So you need those glasses, you know, which you got to charge or you put in a battery and then, you know, kind of use it. But let me just turn this over to 3D again and uh, 2D to 3D. And you would notice that th this becomes a little blurry. That's because, you know, I'm going to wear glasses and it shows that, you know, please make sure you have the correct 3D signals and glasses. Remember to turn off 3D, blah, 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 blah. So you would need one of these glasses. I'm just gonna show you this as well. 3D glasses, put them on, and that changes your experience. Oh boy, Ooh. whoa, oh man, this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole new level. I mean, these, these, these leaves. Oh my goodness. I can only imagine, you know, what this would do to your experience when you're actually playing horror games. You know, it's going to be a mind boggling experience if you're playing horror games with these 3D glasses on. Of course, I'm not going to be able to show you on camera. I'm not sure if the camera actually picks this up, but uh, let's try. I don't know if this is picking it up. Well, uh, but it makes a huge difference, a huge difference. And whoa, there's actual depth that, I mean, I can clearly make out the difference. I mean, the, the depth between this, all right, and the character Lara. So there's sort of this space in between them and I can make it out, you know, I'm putting my glasses on, but uh, yeah, I'm sure the camera won't be able to pick it up. In fact, the camera for the camera, in fact, everything is hazy. But for me, whoa, this is so good. I had to try Titanfall 2 in 3D. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not running. I'm sorry. Supposed to be running. Oh, how do I run? I forgot. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. This looks so good. It's in 3D. I don't know if, you know, the camera will be able to capture this. Let me, let me try. Let me see. All right. Let's see now. Whoa. I, so as soon as I take that off, everything's double, right? But look at that. Wow. And I'm just going to move a little bit. Oops. Ah, okay. I'm just going to move a little to show you how it looks. Whoa. Trust me, guys, it looks so much better up close and personal or in person. Of course, the camera will not be able to do justice. And plus these glasses off on see hazy not hazy and any first person game I can say will look incredible with your 
3D turned on. Whoa, especially when I run. Oh my goodness, I mean, this is so good, guys. It is, it, it, it's so immersive, you know. I mean, it feels like you're literally there. The crosshair, oh my god. Wow. Okay, another weapon, eh? Switch to a different weapon. Got it. Oh my god. Oh, oof. This, I mean, with the sniper gun, I mean, oh my god, it looks incredibly beautiful. It looks so good, guys. I mean, with the sniper gun. Let's take a machine gun. Oh my god. This is superb guys. First person games in 3D. Oh my god. I mean Wow. Wow. Violets have to strike a balance in combat. Speed is paramount, but you must also hit the confidence. The confidence is where we direct the play until the turn is in check. Wow, I'm really enjoying it guys. I mean, this in 3D looks incredible. It's, it's so immersive that you literally get lost. I mean, it's a whole new dimension to your experience of playing. When you put these 3D glasses on, and especially if you're in a game like this, Titanfall 2, which is a first person shooter. I mean, your whole perspective on the game actually changes. I just changed the uh, level of the camera and uh, you know brightness levels on the camera I just reduced it a little I think you know it was impacting the picture quality well Assassin's Creed Rogue well that was a flop that didn't work out quite well but hey we're back to this game Hellblade Senua Sacrifice and oh my goodness I mean it is again mind bogglingly good <laughs> I'm using that word again Whoa, look at that. Okay, when I when I do that, I mean the smoothness is just so good. I know the camera will not be able to pick it up because I am recording in 4K 24 frames per second and not 60 FPS. Now let me tell you guys, now this is a whole new level. I mean, this game looks so good. And this is 60 FPS, I can say it's so smooth. I mean, whoa, it is mind-bogglingly good. I'm getting goosebumps while I take a look at it. I mean, this is how beautiful this game looks. And although the projector does not have HDR, and uh, it's not a 4K projector, but guys, I mean, the Xbox Series S is actually shining. And I can say sh literally shining on this projector wow hey can't I sprint I can I should have press okay whoa this looks incredible guys I mean this is a very pretty game to look at and uh, you know if, if you've got the series s I made a video on this as well when I played it on my uh, Samsung AU9070, it also comes along with ray tracing, and uh, it takes your it takes your 
prettiness or the wow factor of how good this game looks to a whole new level i mean the ray tracing it definitely has a big big impact on the way the game looks on screen and uh whoa it is so smooth guys i mean it is a, a totally different experience than when you're playing this on a television and i mean it in a good way i mean a totally different experience in a very very positive way not in a negative way oh i mean this looks this looks so good i'm just going to come in front of the screen as well maybe just for a bit not for long but uh just look at it i mean whoa i don't know if you can actually see it but even from up close here maybe i'm standing at what 2 feet now it's it's incredible i mean the detailing and everything looks fabulous now the farther you are from this gigantic screen the better the picture quality so i just wanted to show you you know how big of a screen this is it's massive it's huge and when you play it on a screen like this i think you'd find it very difficult to go back to your tiny 43 inch <laughs> i mean although it's a 4k television because hey if you're playing on a screen this big from a distance of say about 15 feet or so um yeah 15 to 16 feet mind blowing absolutely mind blowing so what i want to say is that it does not it does not really matter that uh, the xbox series s is actually a 1080p uh console because if you are playing it on a device like this you know and this is quite an old projector by the way it's not even a new one you know there's so many fancy ones out there the latest and the greatest so if you get a chance to get your hands on a 4k projector with hdr with maybe 120 fps or 120 hertz how good would that experience be i'm just i'm just kind of you know thinking about it i'm getting goosebumps while thinking about it now if you take a look at this i mean it's incredible i mean the detailing uh the picture quality it looks incredible the dark areas are dark the bright areas although you know no hdr again guys no hdr this projector has no hdr but 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 it looks incredible i mean the dark areas are dark it's black and uh, again you know the camera might not be doing justice to this simply because of the fact that i'm recording on a dji pocket 2 in 4k 24 in a flat profile the decent i like but uh, wow this game looks pretty it looks in incredibly beautiful on this projector and i think i'd find it quite difficult to go back to playing this on my 43 inch samsung au 9070 after having this experience in fact i had not connected my xbox series s to a projector uh, this is the first time that i'm doing it and i'm recording this for you lovely folks as well so do let me know in the comment section as to what you feel about you know the picture quality although it's 4k 24 but um, let me tell you that up close and personal to my naked eyes the frame rate i can say for sure it's running at 60 fps it's that smooth i mean it looks incredible i mean simply incredible your xbox quick resume it's <laughs> so good i mean the quick resume feature on your xbox series s is a boon to a lot of gamers because it just lets you continue you know where you left off and look at it no load screens like you know i mean all those publishing details or publishers details no opening credits none of that oh man this is smooth this is incredibly smooth i'm sure it's not going to give me any any you could say graphical options here simply because of the fact that you saw there was a lot of red when we went into you know what this projector was capable of doing now irrespective of what that screen told you all right when it comes to the actual experience the actual experience is not bad at all in fact it is it is really good
Bye bye. Oh wow. How can I do that to our lady Lara? I think I got too excited. So I'm gonna jump up and I'm gonna jump up. All right. Okay. This looks fabulous, guys. I mean, I kid you not again. And I'm just waiting for a cutscene because I want to show you, you know, one of the cutscenes as well. I don't know. Look at those cutscenes. I mean, Games like this, you know, which has a lot of storytelling, which has a lot of cutscenes, it's going to shine on your projector like this. Oh. It looks beautiful, guys. I mean, so far, this experience, barring Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered, I don't know what the problem was. It, maybe it, it might be my HDMI cable, by the way. I'm not using Xbox, um, you know, HDMI cable. The reason why I'm not using Xbox's HDMI cable is because, you know, I have quite a long cable. Uh, I have my projector set up and uh, because of that setup, I can't use uh, the Xbox cable. I can only use, uh, you know, the cable that I got installed uh, with the projector. No HDR, but look at that light. Oh, man, this is gorgeous i mean oh boy what a view and oh man. it is incredible i'm surprised that you know i mean it, it's it's producing such a great picture quality it definitely looks better than my television and in fact i would be very happy to make a video where i play these games on a monitor on my television and on a projector and I can you know do like a comparison between you know all these different uh, viewing devices like a monitor a TV and uh, a projector now this guys is simply outstanding it is outstanding guys so I wanted to end here but look at that detail even from up close here it's not blurry at all everything is sharp you know i mean there's nothing wrong in the image quality it looks beautiful guys and i absolutely love playing the xbox series s on a projector this big in fact i wish that i had a 4k hdr projector with 120 hertz that would have really taken this experience to a whole new level but hey i can't complain about you know what i've got in my hands right now and uh, i can say for sure that this looks oh, <laughs> incredible so we'll end this video here. Do let me know if you actually want me to make a video on a comparison between a monitor, a television and a projector. And uh, I can make that, you know, I mean, I have a 1080p monitor lying around. I have a 4K television, the Samsung AU9070 lying around right around the corner. And then I have the Acer H6510 BD. So if you want me to make a comparison uh, as to, you know, how these games look on these different devices, do drop in a comment in the comment section and keep talking to me in the comment section you know i love hearing from you folks uh, after i post every single video of mine and um, uh, i love you know hearing from you lovely folks so please do keep talking now if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button then please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button as well it means quite a lot because it helps with the youtube algorithm plus it also encourages me to make more such content for you lovely people now with that said also hit that bell icon in case you want to receive any notifications whenever I release a new video of mine. Uh, hitting that bell icon would definitely make a difference. And um, well, that's a wrap for this one. This is me signing off and we'll meet again in my next video, folks. Until then, take care, stay safe and may God bless you all.